We start with the puzzle. When a dart is thrown at a wall, it makes a hole. But what is the hole like if the dart is twice as fast? The solution will be given near the end of the video. Welcome to this nothing nerdy lesson on energy in collisions. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. You should be able to make calculations and predictions about the behaviour of colliding and exploding objects. Both momentum and energy considerations are necessary to analyse a collision completely. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. Here is a formula which we find in the IB booklet, but not in many textbooks, unless they're written for IB. It connects kinetic energy and momentum. You should be able to show with algebra how the formulas for kinetic energy and momentum can be combined like this. If we know one of them and the mass of the body concerned, we can find the other one. This can save you having to calculate a velocity. We've already seen a lot of collisions and explosions in previous lessons. When two bodies collide as an isolated system, they exchange some momentum, but none is lost. Even if we know the initial velocities of the two bodies, it is not enough to predict the velocities afterwards. We need to examine their contact. Depending on the nature of the materials, there may or may not be a conversion of the initial kinetic energy to other forms. We need more information, either one of the final velocities or how much kinetic energy gets lost, if any. Here is an example of two skaters colliding. This is an unfortunate collision between two skaters whose masses are 55 and 45 kilograms. The first skater is travelling at 5 metres per second and the other in the opposite direction at 2 metres per second. By now, you should be quite good at calculations like this. Be careful to get the minus signs in the right place and do the arithmetic methodically. When we look at momentum, we find that there are two unknowns both of their velocities after colliding. These velocities could take many different values depending on how the skaters interact. We need to know something else. For example, let's imagine that the 55 kilogram skater continues after the collision at 1.2 meters per second. Now, when we substitute the 1.2, we can use it to make an equation with one unknown and then we can find the individual momenta and solve the equation to show that the final velocity of the second skater is 2.64 meters per second. Now we have enough information to use the momentum to look at the changes in kinetic energy which were caused by the way in which the bodies of the skaters reacted. Here we can see that momentum was conserved. And now we use the formula connecting momentum and kinetic energy to find the kinetic energies of each body, each before and after. And this information can be combined to show how much kinetic energy was converted during the collision and what proportion of the whole that represented. It seems like it might have been a painful collision. Lastly, this formula helps us to remember that the kinetic energy of a body is proportional to the square of the momentum because of their relationship with velocity. When you double the velocity of a body, you double its momentum, but the work you have to do to get it to twice the speed is four times as much, and the same when you're stopping a body. The kinetic energy it must lose is proportional to the square of the velocity. There are two bodies with mass m, one has a velocity v, the other one has velocity zero. They combine to make a body 2m and its velocity is v divided by 2 by conservation of momentum. The kinetic energy formula is half times 2m, which is the combined mass, times v squared over 4, which is the squared velocity of the combined object. And when the twos cancel, we get a quarter mv squared, and so the answer is c. This puzzle is concerned with energy as well as velocity. 
When the travelling dart hits the wall, it does work pushing into the wall until it stops. If it's twice as fast, because kinetic energy depends on the square of the velocity, it can do four times as much work making the hole, so it will be four times deeper than the first hole.